Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we do fun Sims 4 related videos here on this channel all the time. Today we're gonna attempt the pop-up book challenge and this is one that I've wanted to do for a very long time. I remember seeing this video specifically a few years ago from The Sims stream. They made this beautiful pop-up book build like a fairy tale inspired thing and I wanna try and build that in The Sims 4 today and I'm gonna show you also how to do it. So first thing I'm actually gonna do is go and get my my square tool so the flat square here and I'm gonna just bring that across I want to make this fairly big and you're gonna want to leave yourself quite a bit of room for this so we're gonna get a square I'm gonna put some like wood on there for now we'll get rid of this mailbox I'll use you later and then here I'm gonna click on my square and we're gonna just raise it up honestly maybe to like there for now get some trim on there so it looks good and then the next part to make the actual pages of the book we're gonna have to use a roof tool and this might get a little bit annoying a little bit complicated but it's okay we're gonna work through it <laughs> so starting off with this one for all of it we're gonna be using this half gabled roof piece and to start we're gonna bring this adjuster all the way down as low as it'll go from there I'm gonna be focusing on the smaller arrows like on the outsides here so holding shift I'm gonna bring that all the way across as far as I can get it we're gonna use these arrows here to bring that all the way to the edge and it won't really matter seeing the roof piece underneath it because it's not gonna be visible so we've got it spread all the way across there I do need to move this into the middle and then finally I'm gonna hold shift again on my keyboard and I'm gonna use this adjuster here and bring it all the way as far as I can get it to go and then again just bringing it out so it's at the edge like that and you can kind of see where this is going next I'm gonna go and get my roof paint you can do this with base game by the way I'm gonna grab this white one here and we're gonna put that on there and I'm gonna get a pretty thin white trim these are gonna be the pages next thing we're gonna do I'm gonna hold shift C on my keyboard and you can see See how that's changing these adjusters there's like one ball there and now there's multiple this is gonna allow us to have a little bit more freedom when we're actually adjusting the pages and that trick is gonna be so clutch through this whole thing this adjuster here I'm gonna try and get it as flat as possible and this one we're gonna just play with it until I kind of get the shape that I want and then once I have a shape that I'm happy with I'm gonna take that and copy and paste it directly on top of the one that I already did then once you have that on top of there you can do the same thing I'm gonna be holding alt on my keyboard and raising the arrow up slightly I'm gonna be adjusting the angles a little bit not too much we want it to look obviously very consistent throughout it and I'm gonna try and keep it as close as possible because we're gonna be doing multiple like versions of this so again once you have a shape that you're happy with you can copy it and paste it on top and do the same thing until you get up to the higher pages it's gonna look a little weird if everything is like the same height so I'm gonna add maybe one more here and with this one I'm gonna raise it up I can maybe play around with it a little little bit more but I'm gonna bring in the adjuster by one tick because when you open the book they're not all gonna be like flattened to the same length you know so this one can change and be a little shorter and then copying and pasting that one on top now it's gonna have the same height there and it's gonna look a little more natural so you can play around with it I think I might add a little bit more of a curve here and then to even further the book feel obviously I'm gonna have to do the same thing on the other side but I'm gonna bring this out just a little bit and then for the very bottom page the first one that we put I'm gonna actually go back in and change change that to a different trim maybe like a black or a brown because that's going to be like your book and you're going to want to use the thickest trim here to do that I'm going to also change my roof paint there maybe I can do like a black for the first one if I can get in there and then once you have this side of the book you can copy and paste and just turn it and do the exact same thing on the other side so every single page I'm just going to be copying and pasting putting it directly on top of the other side and I'm actually just going in and flaring out my pages a little bit just to get more of like a whimsical like flying open effect so just using that little gesture here holding alt on my keyboard so I have more control and this is how my book is turning out the one problem I did run into as well is down here you can kind of like bring in these pages a little bit holding shift and just bringing in this adjuster to kind of like fix that part there but overall this is what my book is looking like and I'm actually gonna put this onto the gallery so that you guys can use this as well maybe we'll do like hashtag pop up book challenge sure <laughs> okay so now that we've got our book we're gonna have to continue on with our build and again we want to make sure this is functional right because how cool would it be if your sims lived here so we're gonna get some stairs first I'm gonna bring these pretty much all the way over I don't really know what I want to go for yet so I'm gonna just roll with it we have to remember that these are all roof pieces right so we're gonna have to get like creative in the ways that we can adjust and play around with this I'm gonna go in first with a platform piece I do have a sim over here on this lot who's gonna be testing it out hi how are ya maybe I'll bring that piece all the way 
way to the edge and I'm gonna add my trim and everything on there as we go. And I'm gonna just keep adding platform pieces on top of each other like stairs until I can see them through the pages. So up to there, I think might be okay. I'm gonna get my Sim up here. We're gonna get her to walk through. Basically, I just wanna make sure that she can get up to this step. Let's see if she can get up to that step. Step. I believe in you. Yes. Okay. So we have the functionality up there, kind of. So I'm going to keep building up and testing to make sure that she can get up there, but adding my platforms and stairs until I get above the page, we can start going up the other way. So another one here. And then I think I might start turning this way now. And then once I get up here, I'm going to start to turn this way. And this is where I'm going to have my build. So right on top of this platform, I'm going to be drawing my room. And this build in general, I don't think it's going to be too big, obviously. I don't want to take away from like the whole book aspect of it, but I do want to make it look interesting. So I think what I might do is have one little house here and then I can take my square tool and I think I might build a bridge over to the other platform and have the other one floating on top of here. And we can have it held up maybe by like columns or something. We can put like landscaping under there, but I think that would be kind of fun. And then I could do like just something small, maybe like a two story build right on top here. But whatever we end up doing, I have to make sure that my stairs are going to reach. So I'm going to take these and put them probably like right there. And then this part we could turn into like a garden underneath. I'm gonna turn all these walls into spandrels. So placing my columns on all four corners and then I'm gonna go in and use the snowy escape one, I think. I'm kind of picturing like in the background, I have those mountains back there. So I think like a snowy escape influence could be really pretty. So under there, what I'm picturing is I could make it really magical with like a snowy escape mountain shrine. We could put the mountain shrine under there, then get the fences under there and kind of just like section it off. And then under this section, I could add some like grass under here and then go in with some landscaping, pull it all together. There's so many variations of this. I'm just thinking now like you could do a whimsical kind of thing. You could do a medieval build. You could do a spooky like haunted house. Should I make this an official challenge? Like, do you guys want to do this and see me tour them? Let me know. I'm going to bring in some color with these wildflowers here. I think that looks so pretty. We can do some of these snowy escape like lanterns in here, just hidden in the grass. And then for this part, I'm going to put the fence around here again, and it's going to be pretty basic roofing, I think. I think I'm just going to use a hipped piece here, bring that over, and probably just cover over like the fence part. We can have that held up by columns. And I think since I'm going for the snowy escape feel, what I'm going to do is just play around with the curves a little bit. Just bring it in like that, and then we can use a snowy escape roof paint, probably in brown. I'm going to color in all of my floor pieces here and add the trim. I want to do the same sort of thing on this one, but smaller. So I'm just going to shrink our roof piece a little bit. Little baby one there. And then for my wallpaper in windows, I think I'm going to go with like full snowy escape. Like I'm just going to use this here. I think I'm going to have to adjust my platforms a little bit with that bottom part there because with the height and everything, I had to play around with different wall heights. So I think I'm going to have to adjust that. So I'll do that in a sec, but I'm just going to add my columns around, add a little bit more spandrels here for some more detail. Ooh, some jungle adventure trim on there could look cute. Jungle adventure with some just basic trim to get rid of that white there. Okay, so I adjusted my shell. I lost a little bit of height because I had to play around with the wall heights and everything to get it to work with the platforms. But after doing all that, it wasn't too bad. This is what we got. I'm actually going to extend this part back a little bit. I want to do a seating area with a fireplace or something cute underneath there. So going back in with my platform tool, I'm just going to page all the way down to this level and build on top of there like a square area. This can be where maybe we have a nice like outdoor fireplace moment. I love Love this one from Snowy Escape. The chair with the blanket and I can pull this all together by adding some like outdoor lanterns. We can size up this rug. I think it would also look cool. Speaking of like the Snowy Escape rugs, I could add these around once I have my landscaping and it's going to look just like overgrown moss on my stairs. And then I think I want to add one more thing. I really want to add water on this, but I can't because of the roofing, the platforms. But what we can do is add another platform area, maybe going this way. I'll use this pre-made octagonal platform and put it on there. And then that should have room for a fountain that's like an actual item. So I'm not going to be building a fountain up there, but I was thinking one of these like pre-made ones could look cool. Even if it's not like fully covering that one area, even if it's hanging over, I'm going to be going in and doing my landscaping, which is going to be a little bit annoying because I think I'm going to have to like raise everything up from the ground here, but I'm going to be using a lot of this item going around. I'm planning on raising up a lot of rocks 
than making it look really pretty that way. And I want to bring in the pink with those flowers we were using too, like these ones here, the assorted wildflowers. So I'm going to surround all of my stair areas now that those are all finished with our landscaping. Oh, I really want to bring in these like trees. I think I'm going to raise this one up and put it at the front. This one too is super pretty. We could bring in a little bit of color with this. And then I also think for a little bit of extra landscaping, what I'm going to do is turn on my debug. We're going to go bb.show live edit objects. And then in debug, there's a bunch of like really big rocks and boulders like around here. And I want to use these and surround the book area just so that it kind of looks a little bit better instead of just having the flat square. So like these can go around the back and then I can hide more landscaping like in here, more grass, more trees. And the final thing I'm going to do because I wanted to have some more water features here is add a pool right in the front. I'm going to bring it kind of like under the book so it looks like it keeps going, but it's just going to end like right here. And then in there, the Sims 4 Snowy Escape has these really pretty lily pads. There's also some nice ones from base game we can add. So with all the landscaping, this is what it's looking like. I love the features that the rocks added with the trees. I filled it in with some debug landscaping around like back there, some bushes. I also finished the landscaping for the pathways, which all looks so cool. I surrounded it with a lot of the island living bushes, some cats and dogs like succulents around there. And I think it just looks really pretty. There's a couple more details I want to add before we go inside. I want to add some lighting here. So I'm going to take these. Where did my door? Okay, there's my door. <laughs> we're going to take these and we're going to shrink them and I'm just going to put them like maybe at the front. I can bring some up top a little bit just for a little extra color and lighting, obviously. I want to add a point on top of each of my buildings. So I'm going to use those from Strangerville. And I think I want to make a little seating area like right here, just something small. I love these chairs here from Outdoor Retreat. So I'm going to put those there. Maybe just kind of turn one of them for some realism in a pop-up fairy book. <laughs> and this is actually a bar stool, but I think it looks kind of good as a table. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put a trash can in the back up here, I think. And for my mailbox, where am I going to put that? I was going to put it up here, but I was like, that makes absolutely no sense. Oh, we could use this. We'll use the cute new one from Werewolves, this like wooden one. It definitely fits the vibe. That I can just squeeze over there and that can be where my mailbox is. Cute. All right. I think we're probably ready to start furnishing the inside here. So this is what the outside looks like. I already placed a ladder here to get upstairs, which is going to be a little bit annoying, but it's okay just for the functionality of this thing. It's got to be what it is. I'm going to try and keep with Snowy Escape. So I'm using my Snowy Escape fridge, probably some kitchen stuff here too. I can fit a few counters right there and maybe an island. I do have that living room there and it's hidden under the roof. So I think I'm going to keep that as like my seating areas. We'll do a Snowy Escape stove in here, Snowy Escape sink. And I think I'm going to bring in some bar stools from Snowy Escape as well. Full kitchen. I will never get tired of this pack. I don't know what it is. I love it. It's so easy to build with this pack. Everything in there is just so pretty. So we've got our trash can, fully functioning kitchen. I think I'm going to keep it pretty clean and simple. We could add a plant in the corner here, maybe like a hanging plant right here as well. And I think I'm going to put a laptop here with, I love the little tea canisters that come with Snowy Escape. So I'm going to put these on there and maybe some plates just to pull it all together. We're adding a light there and I think this is going to be our kitchen. Maybe just with a little rug, like a fitness stuff rug at the front. There we go. That's cute. Okay, up we go. We're going to have a bathroom up here. It's going to have to be a wall mounted shower, I think, for it to work. So I'm going to do a shower there, toilet over here, and then probably a sink maybe on this wall. Again, keeping it pretty simple. I just want to use that one there from base game, squeeze it on the wall, and I'm going to get a tiny little mirror like this one right above. We'll get a picture in there, probably the same light that I used downstairs. So just like that. And then for the final room, the final room is going to be the bedroom. So up here, I'm going to get the Snowy Escape bed. We'll keep it nice and consistent. I do actually want to use the new fairy lights that came with the Sims 4 little campers kit. I haven't used them yet, but they're so cute. These. So the thing is, they're not wall mounted, so I'm going to have to raise each of them up, but I think it's going to be worth it. I love the light it gives off. Better light than the original like fairy lights that we had with the holiday pack. Oh my god, my depth perception is failing hard. This is requiring more focus than the entire build. All right, so we got those hanging across the ceiling. I don't have much room in here, so I'm going to get a tiny dresser, probably the one from Tiny Living, like this one in white. I might put a plant on top of there. This pink tree from Snowy Escape. We need a rug. Ooh, that one there from Laundry Day. Maybe on this side, I can do a mirror hanging on the wall, just something simple like this one there. What about some pillows from Spa Day? Those little meditation pillows could be cute, even if they're not functional just for decor there. I think those are adorable. And then to pull this room together, 
I think I'm just gonna get some snowy escape curtains and maybe like a painting to put up. There, look how cute this turned out. I got that snowy escape mountain tapestry, the curtains on the wall, a snowy escape piece of art. And then in this corner, we have just our mirror and our meditation area slash decor pillows. And with everything, this is what our build ended up looking like. I wanna turn it to live mode and see the fountain come to life. Oh, it's so pretty with the lighting and everything here. I love this build. I will put this on the gallery for you guys under City Macarena. I will also be uploading the plain book. So if you guys want to make this a challenge, we could do that. Maybe I'll post a little bit more about it on my socials, which I will also link down below. But that is all I got for you guys today. My Sim is going to go live in her little pop-up paradise. If you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.